Game Beard. Let's make the small building for Junkrunner Skirmish. Here you can see um, I have printed and cut out some of the side walls, front walls, back walls that we need for this project. Let's start with the side wall. Believe it or not, you need to print four of these. So we're going to make, I'm going to make one, but you will make four of this. And uh, two for the lower floor and two for the upper floor. So I've already cut this out and I've actually already folded it too. I was a little ambitious and I, I folded it. So now all I need to do is I just need to glue it. So let's glue it. I want this to dry a bit before I cut out those windows. You're going to want to cut out those windows um, so that you can see inside. For many of the missions, you cannot target a unit inside. So you might be tempted, oh, I can leave the windows on. But it's better to be able to see in to see if there is a unit in there and just declare that you can't target the unit that you can see in there, like physically, right? Anyways, oh. And oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fold. There's gonna be I'm gonna fold these. I'm gonna trim these windows, but I'm gonna put it to the side for now. I'll come back to that. This is the front first story wall. I know because it has a has a door um, that's gonna be cut away. I've already trimmed it from the paper, and I'm just gonna glue it. You want to press down. I sometimes have a real big fat book, like a giant graphic novel omnibus. And when I'm gluing these, I'll glue a bunch and then I just put them underneath that big fat book for, I don't know, 10 minutes while I'm gluing other ones. This one has a little bit of white trim. Um, I can trim that off, but the sidewall is going to overlap it, so I may just leave that. I'm just going to leave that. So this is the front and back wall of the first story. You're going to print two of these. So you'll print two of these. Here's the, here's the second story wall. You can tell because there's no door. You're going to print two of these as well. I already trimmed it from the white cardstock paper, and I am going to glue this one too
press down. I'm going to go back to this one. I want to, it's still drying, but I want to trim the windows and the double doors. So you want to use a straight edge. When, when I trim, I'll usually trim all my vertical lines and then I'll, you know, flip it over and I'll do my horizontal lines at the same time. It saves time. I'm sh perhaps you would have figured that out. It's okay if you when you trim the edge of your window that you can go a little beyond the sill because um, you won't really see that thin excess cut and it will ensure uh, that your windows will pop out when you are all done with your cuts you'll find out when you're cutting a ton of windows away. This one's not bad. This only has three, you know, three things to cut out. That just popped out. Um, if it doesn't come out, you might need to trim it again, or you might just work it a little there. So you definitely want to trim all these windows and doors away on all your pieces. I'm just going to show you one more. I'll just I'm going to spare you all of the cutting. Here's the second story. Again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut out all these windows. I do I do all the um, you know the vertical like I said all the vertical cuts at once. It saves time, and especially when you get to the large building and you have many windows, uh, it's it's a time saver, which is real nice. But I'm gonna skip past this to show you all my windows and walls cut out. Okay, here they are. Um, I cut out all my windows. You're gonna have two of these. This is the front and back wall. This is the second story front and back wall. So you're gonna have two of these. And then here's the side wall, which is longer for the, sh for the short building or the yeah smaller building. Um, but you'll have four of these and there's one more thing I need to do with this wall I need to fold on this edge on both sides so I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna fold it you wanna get a nice you know 90-ish degree fold Now, that, the purpose of that is it will overlap. So, oh yeah, I mentioned earlier how I have this white um, edge. And this, this will just overlap it and glue. So it'll be like this. Okay, before we glue the walls all together though, we need to put the floor together. Let me organize my parts. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just putting that over there. So here's the floor. Uh, you can see there's all kinds of junk and 
anatomic packages on the floor, right, in the aftermath of the purge, or years after the aftermath of the purge. Um, but anyways, I have um, these sides that need to be folded, and I have a little panel or tabs. So I'm just going to fold these. It's thin, so it's it's a little tricky, but uh, it's doable. I believe when you print this floor, you also get the second floor piece together with this printout. So it'll be like, here's the, here's the second floor. It's just, it's just a rectangle you cut out. The bottom floor though, it has this, um, it's like a support. Foundation, I guess. It's thin, but it, it does the job. Okay. So now, I'm going to glue those tabs. So here you can see. There's that tab, and I'm going to glue it underneath, and I'll do that on all four corners. So I'll just, uh, let me get this positioned. Yeah, okay, so I'm going I'm to start with this one. I'll probably do, maybe I can do two of these at a time. I'm going to get the glue ready for two, but I may have to glue one tab at a, at a time. There. And I'm just gonna, I'm just pinching it. Okay, second tab. Here is the finished, it's glued, it's still drying, but I've glued all my tabs and all, all the corners, and it gives me like a very thin foundation that my walls will, well not that wall, my walls will glue onto. But before we glue walls on, I hate to say it, we need to, I'm going to put this aside, we need to glue, I'll show you, this piece, this is a, a ceiling. So this would be the ceiling for the first floor or a ceiling for the roof. Now I've already made one, but let me, you're going to make two of these, so we'll make the other one for the first floor. So here's Here's the part, this is the ceiling for the, whatever, the ceiling for the roof of the first floor. And you're gonna trim it, but let me show you, it's uh, kind of unusual how you trim out these tabs. So you would cut around all of these tabs, but then, so you'll see it here, you're gonna, um, there's, there'll be a little X here to trim, and you're gonna cut, so you're going to cut here, but you're going to stop right here. You're going to cut and stop, and then you're going to cut this little triangle out. And you'll do that on all four corners. Now, this is an unusual fold because I need to fold these up. I need to fold these up, and it's... Actually, it's not terrible. On the larger building, it's more difficult, but let's do it. So I'm going to position my straight edge or, you know, metal ruler, right? You might even just want to hold it. The trick is 
when you start folding, this might slide. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to hold it. Maybe I'm going to hold it. I'm going to use these fingers to maybe try to push it up. That might work for the smaller one. Here, I'm going to move it in. Got to get this little tab too. Okay. Um, you could start this way and then get a better fold on it. Yeah. Like this. The trick is to start that fold. There. Okay. That is, um, that can be a little tricky. And like I said, when we get to the large building, it'll be, it'll be a little more tricky because it'll be a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Maybe I can just use it on the table. Let's try it. I've done this before too. So I'm just going to... I don't know. So what did I do? I just did it. <laughs> I didn't really show you. I, uh, I kind of I kind of held the ruler. I kind of put my fingers underneath it. And then when I laid it down, I, I folded it up. Um, I don't know. Whatever works for you, you're going to find, you'll find a way. Okay, so I folded those up. Of course, I still need to fold this too, right? So um, I'm going to have to temporarily flatten these a little to do that, but that's okay. Maybe I can hold this one. I'm going to try it again, what I just failed to demonstrate. Okay. So I lined up my ruler, my fingers are underneath this, and then when I lay it down, I'm going to fold it up at the same time, and I'm going to try to be real. Yeah, thumbs are pressing, yeah, I don't know. Thumbs were pressing the ruler down, these fingers were folding it up. Skills, man, skills. Okay, over here. Let's see if I can do it a different way, just to show you. I think if I just hold it. So I'm holding it with my thumb so you can see, and then I'm going to line up that edge. And then I'm just going to, I can just press that up, finger. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are crafty, aren't you? You can do this. Sometimes I take it for granted, like the things I can do, like other people can't do them. So if that's the case, then keep going. You'll, you'll be able to do it. Like, oh, can't you use an exacto blade? I've been doing it for years. Nope. You gotta learn. The trick with an exacto blade is you wanna be you wanna be very careful. Okay, so I'm kind of test fitting these. You can see that these tabs are going to be glued to the, the T tabs. And these have a little bit of color on them. But those T tabs are white and they'll be behind and you want to glue it. And when we glue these, you want to make sure you want to make sure that they're kind of you don't want them to be loose and sloppy. You want them to be pretty tight. These need to be tight, but the walls need to be slightly loose to accommodate these tabs. And if that doesn't make sense, it will soon enough when I show you. So I'm adding some glue to that tab and then I'm going to position it and I want to get it right on that crease and use all my fingers to kind of press it together. I want that to be kind of sharp, as sharp as I can get it. Pinch on one side. Oh, that is not sharp. Let's see. You're like, I mean, it's difficult to use a ruler. Oh, I could use the, the table. I can press down. This is probably the best way. Or, I could, yeah, I could use my ruler doing this. Yeah. So that, that might work. But you're going to do one of these at a time. You want it to be <clears throat> as tight as possible. Is that tight? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, you're going to make two of these. One for, uh, whatever, the second floor and one for the roof. Now, we're not finished because, uh, well, you can see the lights on the ceiling, right? So there's like those overhead lights. But um, on top of this, we're going to glue uh, the bottom of the second floor, right? And this is just a rectangle, and so I'm going to just glue that on, and you're going to get it right. Oh, look at that. I didn't glue very good. That must have been my older one. Um, it will glue better once I 
Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to glue this on. And then I also have a roof, a roof piece that you'll print and cut out. And so this one will go on the roof. So this will be for the roof. So it's it will be double sided and it'll be like two ply. So it'll be a little stronger. So I'm just going to glue, I'm going to glue this one on. So I'm just going to get some glue here. Question is how much glue? Good question. Probably don't need that much. Seems like I'm doing a lot, but that's a little less than normal. Corners are good, and you want to smear it around. Okay. So you're just going to glue this on. I think there's currently two versions of the small building um, available to you, but eventually I, in the pipeline there's going to be uh, variations. I'm going to press down here so that I can glue that to the top. And that feels pretty good. I'm going to let this dry, but I'm also going to do this with uh, the roof. So I will also glue this on. Here is my ceiling and my, or not my ceiling, my roof and my whatever, second floor, first floor ceiling, second floor bottom, right? Now, we made these first because when we construct the walls below them, we want to make sure that these tabs will fit in. And sometimes you need to leave a little extra space for these tabs to go in. So that is, that's why we, we created both of these first. But now I'm ready to glue, so to see, I, so we're ready to glue the walls together. So here's my, uh, what, bottom floor, it's kind of like my foundation. And what I would like to do is I have two of, or I'm sorry, I have four of these side walls, so I need two of them. They're going to go on the side here, and then, and then I need the, f the front with the big double doors. i got two of these. There we go. So front door, back door. These are on the bottom so that your crab loaders and, and mules can, they enter through these big double doors. Okay. Now, what I recommend is this. I recommend that we're, I'm going to glue this to this. Oh, yeah. And then, yep, that's how we're going to do it. And then I'll, and I'll do it in the opposite. So I'm going I'm to quickly just move that. I don't have room. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just add some glue here. So I'm going to add some glue. Now when you glue this, um, it doesn't have to be super tight, so I'm going to, I mean it could go right to the edge. You know, if these ones, if it's slightly off and you leave a little bit of white, that's okay. We need to leave, leave a little bit of space for our, like I said, for those tabs. So it's kind of a tricky business, it's like you have to feel it. You'll see when we do it. So I'm going to glue this one like this. And then the other one. Notice that the interior walls are just kind of like this uh, lighter texture. right? I'm going to glue this one to this. So then that way we can space these out a little. But you want two parts. So I'm, I'm just going to move that over. I'm going to add some glue over here. And I will, I will, I'm going to glue one of these on to begin with. I'm going to, um, it's going to be almost to the edge. Yeah, I'll just give it a little bit. I'm going to press down. Okay. 
do it right? Yeah. So, <laughs> too big for my camera. So you can see it's going to go like this. And we can pull it apart a little as needed. I'm going to move that one off to the side. But I do want to glue, I mean, these things are all over the place when we're gluing it onto the base. So I do, I do want to have one of these secured to this foundation bottom floor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue here, 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 but not, not on this folding tab, right? Because I'm going to have to um, squeeze in another whatever, like a wall, you know, in there. But I am going to glue, I'm going to glue along this edge and here and here. I'm going to get in the corner too. Okay. Okay, here we go. I have a feeling it's going to be easier just to do it like this. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm just going to line up this to that bottom edge. I'm just going to pinch it down. Mm. Then this it has less contact, so that's, I really gotta uh, pinch these things on. Easy to okay. I'm gonna just hold pinch it. Okay, so I it took a little bit of time, and it still may be uh, drying here. It, it, I think it's still drying. And now what I'm going to do, and it's a little warpy, it's kind of warping here, so I'll have to be kind of extra careful. What I think I can, let's look at this. So you can see how it's going to attach, but the thing I need to consider is, is this. These tabs, um, I'll show you like this, they're going to, they go in, and that's what holds it. It holds it down. Now you think it would slide down, but there's going to be another wall attached here. So that extra cardstock kind of connects with this and it, it makes it not slide down. It's kind of nice, but you need to have some extra room, just a hair, just a hair, extra room for these tabs to snugly fit down. If it's too tight, you'll have to kind of like jam in these corners and they'll get all bent. And um, I mean, eventually they may bend a little, but um, we want to avoid that as much as possible, and so that these will always work pretty well because you can remove you can remove your the floors of your building to get at your models and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, let's try to do a test fit. Mm, just curious. Doesn't seem too bad. What I what I just simply recommend is that you don't go super snug on the you don't go super snug like the, the walls don't touch. You're gonna leave like a hair, like a little bit, a little bit there. Can you even see that? There's gonna be a little bit of a gap when you glue these. And then when we when we come around to this final one, you may have to leave a bigger gap. Um, but we'll do this piece last. We'll do this area last. Because we because we may like what we'll do is we'll like we'll just kind of like push it at, not that's extreme, but like we'll just kind of push that out a little so that it can accommodate that tab. So I do boy, this thing's really mm. okay. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get glue on everything. So I'm gonna get glue on this, this tab. And I'm gonna be generous on that tab, and I wanna get some glue in here too along the foundation, decent amount, and then I definitely want to get glue on, on this, but I'm not going to do it, yeah, 
Yeah, just like that. And then I guess I'm putting it on right here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my glue here too. It's a lot. Okay, here we go. Again, this piece is kind of warping up. I'm gonna have to do all kinds of weird adjustments. You too, right? Okay, so I'm gonna push that in. I wanna, okay. Let's see if I can just get it in place. <laughs> okay, so I wanna leave a little bit of gap over here. In fact, maybe I will just simply glue that first. I'm gonna glue this tab over here. You can't see, so I'm gluing this one, this corner. Here, I think let's, go, let's go for broke. I'm really just gonna, can you see it? Maybe not. Ooh, that's a little too much of a white gap. Let's see if I push it in. Ooh, wow, that's too much. Um, I'm gonna keep it. That might be enough. I really want this to, to be attached. Let me see if I can show you that big white gap. It's hard to tell in my previous small, but there's that might be too much, but I, I maybe not. Okay, then I wanna I wanna glue down here ne um, next to the kind of the door frame. I want to make sure that, um, because with that big door, that big double door, it doesn't attach much to that foundation side. So I'm really holding it down right here because that, I really want that to be secure and glued. Everything else is all drying probably. It looks like maybe I can use a little more glue on this. Oh, look, I got a little, this is a little warped because glue touched it. It's okay. It's paper. I am going to add a little bit of glue in this corner, bottom corner, just a little dab. Get a little more glue on this. It's all, yeah. It's all warpy. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Again, I'm going to try to get this bottom. I'm really. Okay, I'm gonna press down, but I'm really underneath here. I'm I'm holding it so that it's lining up with that foundation line as best as possible. Sometimes, wow, yeah, this happens pretty fast. Um, it might be good to use a flat edge. Let's see if I can grab mine, uh, especially in the corners. You can't see that. My hand's in the way. I'm holding it. You can just imagine. <laughs> Use your imagination. Uh, Dave, what a crummy instructional video. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh man, that, that is hard to do. So I'm gonna just pick a couple spots, press down, but I, I'm gonna use my fingers. So I'm really, really pressing down there. Okay. Um, so again, you're gonna, you're pressing, you want this to be lined up. Okay, now the moment of truth. I've not, I've not glued this this piece. I had a little extra. I had a little white gap in there. Here's my floor. I want to make sure this thing fits. Oh, oh, well, kind of. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely need some more space in this corner. So I'm gonna purposefully. I'm just gonna purposefully not. I'm gonna push this this part that way a little bit. So let's see, uh, there, just a hair, there, and I'm gonna, yeah. Of course you can't see it, I don't know, it's, my preview is so small, but I have a little white corner gap there, and that, I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna really hold down here. Oh, I, I didn't get this other side very good. So I'm really pressing down, yeah. In here, you can just imagine my fingers are really pressing down on that corner. Okay, ooh, that's lifting. All these things you have to juggle, but boy is it neat when you're done. So here you can start to see, you know, it's paper. It kind of warps a little, but from the outside it will look nice. And uh, I believe I got this, um, this, look at this is bendy. But let me try. I think I, I was extra careful, yeah. 
Now this might fall through right now. Um, let me show you from the side view. There. <laughs> this will go into. Can I do it? There. So that's how it will connect. Okay, but this is pretty good for now. I'm going to put this to the side to dry. Now it's time to go on to the second floor. The second floor is very similar, only this time um, I glue right to, there's, there's a bigger, there's kind of a bigger quote unquote foundation for this. And so I can, I can glue it right there. And then you'll see there's going to be, you know, this paper will go beyond those tabs. Those tabs will be, you know, slightly in and that's, and this part is what keeps it on top of that other floor. But I have this, I have my sides, I have two sides. And, ooh, yeah, you gotta make sure you do this correctly. So I'm gonna show you. What's the top and what's the bottom? Is it like this? <laughs> or is it like this? Um, the top is a little shorter. The top is a little shorter for these, uh, for the distance of the window. And you can kind of tell, for this particular one, you can tell by these lines. But there's a little bigger distance here. This looks like, I don't know. Is that an inch or is that like three quarters of an inch? Or this looks like maybe half an inch. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to glue these. So I'm going to glue, just like before, I'm going to glue this edge here first. I'll kind of get these set up. This second floor will likely be easier because we have a bigger foundation to glue it to. You know, maybe I'm going to leave a little bit of white. Maybe slightly like I'm not totally it's it's very close it's not totally budding up to the edge pressing down okay so there's there's this one and then the other one will be like so Okay. I'm gonna move that out of the way. This one, I, I, I want to leave. I want to leave a little bit of a white gap, so I'm not mashing these walls together. So remember, there's a little more distance on the bottom. Oh, these are on the top too. The little cut down, that's on top. So I'm gonna leave. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap. There, that's kind of a decent gap. That's okay. It's probably better to have a slightly bigger gap on these things. We'll find out. You don't want it to be super tight, because if it's tight, it's a bummer. Yeah, I want to close this, the gap kind of closes a little, but there's a little bit of a white. I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell. I have a small preview. Okay, so I have this. And I have this. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. I'm going to start by gluing this one to my floor. Now your question is, which way does it go? Does it go this way? Does it go this way? Totally doesn't matter. So I'm just going to glue it this way. Remember though that it doesn't go all the way down. It doesn't go all the way down to cover up your tabs. This, it'll, the bottom edge is right here so that those tabs protrude. Um, I'm actually going to put the glue on this. Why not? Yeah, I didn't glue on this side yet. Try to line that up a little. Pinch it a little bit, and then I want to make sure this comes around. Yeah. Oh, I want to make sure that lines up. Okay. Oh. Doesn't want to go down. OK, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is where I think I got it. I'm just going to pull it. I'm going to put it on the... Oh! And I'm going to press... really want to get in that corner. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. You want to make sure, remember, make sure you can't see it, but these tabs go beyond this. You don't, you don't want to make that mistake. All directions, students. The nice thing about these buildings are, is you could use them for other games. I mean, I mean, if you like, they, they're like 28 millimeter scale, about. So you could use them for 40K, Warhammer 40K, or any kind of like skirmish, you know, modern skirmish game you might have, or some kind of post-apocalyptic skirmish game that you and your friends come up with. I mean, don't you do that in your spare time? That's what, that's what my friends do. You just come up with rules for skirmish games. But anyways, it um, doesn't have to be just for my game. Or play my game and then also use it for your other games. That would be great. That's kind of the whole purpose of these things, right? Okay. Now, that's kind of gluing. But now I want to I wanna kind of fit this other wall in. And as I... Oh, that looks low. No, it's not low. Oh, okay. Um, but as I do it, I don't want to, I don't, I want to leave a little bit of gap, a little bit of gap over here, and um, a little bit of gap over here. You can probably glue it here, but then you kind of pull this, this is exaggerating, but you're going to pull it out just a hair so that it can accommodate that roof. Um, I'm just going to go for it, and then we have my ceiling piece to try to fit it in there. Let's see if I'm going to regret this. So again, I want to add a bunch of glue here. Can you see it? No, it's this tab. I'm going to get that ready. Basically, i got to get all the glue ready. And I definitely want to put a bunch of glue in here, in those corners, on both sides. Like, this is all going to be, like, this is going to glue to the other wall and then that's going to glue to this and it's all just going to be glued together. really want to get it here. And I do want it here. And then on this piece I am going to add some glue here just in prepper. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Just in preparation, but I, I don't want to glue this tab until last. I just want to have that glue ready. That's sometimes you just you have you don't have enough fingers and hands okay, to do it. So I definitely want to leave a little bit of gap back here. Okay, and then I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna start, you can't see it. I'm gonna start there though. I'm leaving a Hmm, that's not a much of a gap, so I'm going to go like that. Yeah, maybe you can see through that window. And then I want to make sure it's lined up. Pressing down there. I want to make sure that this is lined up. Yeah, that's lined up. Okay. Press, oh, you can't see, but I'm pressing down over here. bottom part first and I want to line it up
Okay, here we go. So again, let's see how this is fitting. Oh, it's a little tight over there. It's okay. okay, but this one, yeah. I'm gonna leave, okay. You're not gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna leave a nice, I'll show you when I'm done. Let's see, I'm gonna leave a generous one. It depends, like when you're, you know, it depends on how, you know, how closely glued your, the feet are or the tabs. I mean, that's why you kind of want to, you kind of want to measure it. Maybe you don't need that much. There, I think you can see that nicely, that big. So it's kind of. It kind of connects down here, but up here it, it's kind of coming out a little, just to accommodate those those tabs. It might be it might be overkill. It may not be. We're gonna discover that soon enough. But I'm still not done. But this is my second story. I'm gonna let it dry. We have railings for the roof. Railings. I already made I already made these. You're gonna cut them out. You're gonna cut them out, and then you're gonna we're gonna fold them in half and glue them. So I'll do that right now. Um, some of these railings will have the, the name of the building, which is cool. So you definitely want to have. The name of the building and like the address but I also have these kind of blanks like you get extras like I had extras like some of them had the name and so I'm gonna I already have the named building so this is just gonna be an unnamed building so you can do both so if you make multiples of the same building which you may want to do because you'll need multiples then uh, some of them can be unnamed. So I'm just going to add some glue in here and I'm going to glue this. I'm not sure how well this would work if you tried to glue this stuff to, like, thick card. I mean, because it does get a little warped. But I designed it to be used on this cardstock. Uh, but I leave it to you. I mean, if you're determined to, because you could get a, a, a more sturdier building, but it. It could work. You would just have to, you know, be careful when you're gluing it and spacing it. And I haven't tried it myself. One nice thing, I mean, yeah, it would be nicer, but I was going to say these are lightweight. It wouldn't be that much heavier if you did it on card. It would be more sturdy. It wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, flex and warp as much. Sometimes that flexing and warping, though, is nice it's kind of malle malleable so that when I'm trying to fit in those tabs I don't know okay so how are we doing this so I glued these so we have four of these walls this is my roof the the caution no step that's on the inside I'm gonna glue this first and I'm gonna I'm gonna fold these and then the, the short the short side will go on top of this piece in like a cap. So I'm going to I'm gonna fold one of these down. Actually, I'm gonna fold it down right before that line because it, it goes a little beyond it. Okay. Then I'm gonna kind of test fit it. See, it? So, so I'm gonna kind of put it there. Oh yeah. 
see that next one really needs to it folds it folds like past it like almost like right here so okay so I'm gonna keep I kind of have that measurement in mind and I'm just gonna fold this down so now I want to see if this fits yeah yeah I want to so I want to fold these down first and then the short the short piece will go on top that will work best um, I'm gonna glue this thing down so I'm gonna add glue over here Ha ha. I'm in a hurry. I definitely want to get some glue here. I definitely want to get some glue here and in the corner. Okay, that's a lot of nice glue. Got it on me. The um, the caution no step, that's on the inside and make sure you know it reads correctly up. Okay, I'm gonna get this corner here, kind of mash it down a little. Okay, and I'm going to go over here, mash it down. Okay, now I want to get this, I want to line it up to this bottom edge, which it appears that it is. Oh, I'm, I, it slid, it slid on the glue. Okay, I'm just going to adjust and look at it. There you go. Slid on the glue. That's good. When you get glue on, I wash my hands before I do this, but if you get glue on your fingers and you press down, it's like the dirt, maybe I can just rub it off. Yeah, it kind of rubs off. But like <laughs> the glue takes the, the dirt from your fingers and glues it onto your model. That's why I'm usually trying to wipe, wipe the glue off, like I have a little nap, wipe the glue off. Okay, I definitely want this to be glued down. And it, it appears that it's working, really pin pinching that. I want to pinch this one too, really good. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Now I'm going to do, while that's, I'm going to put that off the side. I want to, I'm going to do a fold over on this side. And I'm going to purposefully go beyond that first line. Because it doesn't, it doesn't line up. And then I'm going to test fit it and see kind of how much I need for the other one. Oh, uh, not as much. Okay, but I'm still gonna fold it. Let's try this. I think it's okay if it's a little beyond. There. I'm gonna test fit it. Oh, it's a little slightly a little extra. I think that's going to be okay. All right, so I'm going to add some glue over here. Caution no step, that goes up, so you, you want to check that. I'm going to glue it here. I'm going I'm to try to pinch it first a little bit so it doesn't slide so much. I'm going to pinch this side. I have these long sides, it's folded over. And then these are just going to be like a cap and they're going to, they're going to overlap that, but not as, not as much. Okay. I already attempted it and I peeled it off because I forgot that this is a better way to do it. So here we go. And add some glue here and add some glue on that end. I'm going to spread it around. I'm getting kind of generous on this part of the glue. Remember the caution no step? That's on the in, or yeah, it's on the inside of the roof. Pinch. Oh, it slid. Wow, it really slides. It's because I have a lot of, I have a lot of glue. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna 
press down right here. And I really want to get these corners. So I'm gonna Maybe I'll use my ruler. Really want that corner. What was I thinking? All right. I'm gonna kind of pinch it a little, and then I'm gonna put it down. And I'm really I can press down on both sides. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this. Um, it's pretty good. I have a little extra, like this is a little higher. So maybe I'll just, um, I could just leave it. Um, I'm gonna trim it just a little a hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe that wasn't the right. It's okay. Okay, now this is still drying. Here's the, so here's the roof. Uh, believe it or not, this provides cover, so um, even though it doesn't fully cover up your crab, um, you can imagine the angle, you know, hitting this wall. So y your crab gets plus two cover. Um, um, technically, unless the, um, a crab is on another building directly on the same level, I would still play that it still gives you two cover, the wall. The wall could technically, in game, game rules, it could be a little higher. Well, here it is. This is drawing. Let's see if I can attach all of my parts together. So here is my bottom, and let's see if you can even watch it happen because I'm gonna run out of camera space. So again, I, I put these tabs on the inside. Sometimes you have to kind of move this stuff around. Yeah, okay, that one's, oh, so far so good. You have to kind of do them all at the same time. Here, I got this extra tab here. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it's it's a little tight. I can do it like this. Oh, this has got to work. You just got to get them all. Oh, it's a little too tight. I mean, it's gonna work. Hmm. Yeah. So a, a a gap, another a little bigger on the gap would have been better. It would have been okay to, to have this kind of come out, like this little tab to, I guess it would have been like this. Like these tabs could have kind of come out a little. Anyways, it's on. So yeah, it's not, it, I mean, that's pretty snug. That's pretty nice. Now let's try the, let's try the roof. Oh, it's a little too snug for my tastes. Yeah, that's a little snug. Hmm. It's a little snug. You might like it like that, but um, eventually it, your tabs will... I mean, that's... wow, it's pretty sturdy. Oh, okay. So, again, what I recommend is... You might be making more than one of these anyways. And you may have experienced the same thing. Um, your t <laughs> so big. <laughs> I can't get... It's wonderful. Um, so, I'll just put it like this on the, this is on the side. So what can I say? Um, leave, leave a little extra space. I said, hey, leave a little space. Maybe leave a little more than what I recommended. You want it to be kind of fitting here, but on the top, you want to kind of, you want to kind of pull it out a little to accommodate the next stack. But you definitely want this bottom, I mean, you want this to be glued, glued. you don't, I mean, there's no gap here necessarily. But this is it. <clears throat> this is my level one building. Oh, again, um, your crab will enter, they can't, currently in the gameplay, you can't go through the wall, like these windows, even though the windows are huge, you know, oh, can't they just break through the windows? No. Um, so gameplay wise, it only goes through the front, you know, and the back, it exits and this nice big, and I, I leave this big door open um, just to kind of show that. You can, you can, you know, remove the segments or the, the levels to put your, um, to put your model in there. The small building can only accommodate one model per level. 
the large building can accommodate too. But that's all in the rule book. And oh, one more thing. There's a um, there's a base for the small building. I didn't print it out to show it to you. I showed it to you in another video. <clears throat> so, but it's a printout and it has like a foundation, and then you just kind of stick your stick your building on the gray foundation, and it's nice. Is it absolutely necessary? No, but it looks really cool. It's nice. It looks great on your battlefield, but it's optional. But you'll yeah, it's just a printout, you know. So you'll wanna you'll wanna get that. Um, I guess it's like a sidewalk and foundation for your small building. But that's it. This is our small building for Junk Runner Skirmish. Have fun. Make a couple of these. I should have two different colors, so at least make two. And then in the future, you can print and develop more. Use them for your game and, and use them for other games. So, have fun playing the game.